Hello, welcome back to another episode of Panados Reviews. Boop, boop. Panados Reviews. How could you lose with Panados Reviews? Anyways, today we're here to look at something from Steeped Vape Co. These are good friends of the channel. They've been, uh, they've been good to us over the years. And they make damn fine e-liquids. Steeped Vape Co. They uh, made one of my favorite e-liquids of last year, which was... What's the name of that e-liquid? Quick Shake. Quick Shake. It's your favorite. You don't even know the name hey, of it. Hey, a lot of favorites. It is my favorite, too. It is a lot... It should be your favorite, because that is amazing. And they also have Shaker Berry, which is second favorite. He doesn't like it because he's not really a berry person. But it's... It is good. It's Quick Shake with... A berry twist. It's amazing. Quick Boom. shake. Definitely on your short list of e-liquids. You gotta try. You have to. It is amazing. Steep has been so good to us since we got in, like connected with them. They are a very loyal company. They are amazing. Even though I yelled at him because he wasn't watching my videos. But now he is. He subscribed to both of us. Boom. <laughs> so if you're watching Matt, thank you. <laughs> so this time they sent us out this excellent The Emperor kit. Yes. It's not just Emperor, it's The Emperor. And it, um, it's really cool, I think. That's I it. I don't know what I'm going to talk about <laughs> because you yell at me. Go ahead. It, um, it comes with a mesh coil with, and it also comes with an extra one. And I think that's super cool that it comes with mesh coil. The flavor is super cool, like good. Any mesh, anything I've tried mesh is good. I think all sub own tanks, I think they should stop with the old coils and all use mesh now because it is. Because Panda say so. The flavor is just phenomenal. It's so good. It's like, it, I love, um, I love dripping and, you know, vaping out of RDA. But I also love that if I pick up some, like, want to pick this up, I enjoy the flavor out of it. Even though I just came out from wherever or came out. I was going to say came out of the bathroom. <laughs> Which is also true. <laughs> and, like, I've been using my RDA all day. You would think uh, going to a tank, you wouldn't, you wouldn't enjoy the flavor. But you do because mesh... Just changes the whole game. Absolutely. So this one is it's so what it is. It's an all-in-one like kind of starter kit. You got the mod. You got the tank. Um, it does come with a .22 ohm. It's like the tube look without being a tube. Definitely. The .22 ohm uh, mesh coil, and like she said, you got that tube vibe without actually you know being if you mechanical. Want, if you want that like you're a you're a re regulated user. Um, but you you want that cool look to look like you're using a mechanical mod. This is something that you should definitely get. And it's also something that I would recommend for new vapors because there's not there's no screen. You don't have to figure out ohms or wattages. So it's just preset. Button. Only thing you got you got a nice little blue um, light here on the side that tells you your battery. Yeah. Uh, your battery. How much really battery you have left? Right there. It lights up when you press your button. It comes in a couple different colors. We've got silver and black here on the table. Yeah, I don't know what other colors it comes in. We should have looked at them. <clears throat> I think this is it. So we got silver. we got black. Um, got the nice little blue light there on the side. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's a very clean looking device. The actual tank itself is uh, big. It's beautiful. Everything, like, straight, like, matches up together. The design of it is fantastic. The threads are really nice and clean. It's got an 810 drip tip, so you can uh, actually change this out, uh, which is really nice. You can change it out with any of your favorite 810 drip tips. It has a nice low-profile drip tip to come but stock on it. But I like the it. drip tip yeah, it me comes too. with. me too. Because so, it has that, like, dip. It dips a little bit. It's kind of a cone. Yeah. So the last, the only thing I had, so they sent us a device before that was a starter kit. And but it wasn't like a um, wasn't like a low ohm kind of uh, sub ohm tank kind of deal. It was like a more traditional starter kit. And our only like really our only big gripe with that because it was actually a fantastic device. But the only gripe that we had with it was that the actual battery 
part was incompatible with everything that wasn't the tank part. They went together. You could only use them together. The tank you could not use on other mods. The mod you could not use with other tanks. They've actually remedied that this time in that you can use this mod with any other device as long as it's within the ohm limit and you can use this tank with any other mods so um, they made it universal they made it so that you can use these independently of each other that was my main complaint Were you talking about, about the, the last little one? one yeah yeah I didn't I wasn't a big fan of the little one I thought the flavor wasn't that great I liked uh, it for what it was but it was really a big turnoff that you couldn't use the tank with something other than the mod that it came with. That was well, a big turnoff it's for like, me. It's like one of those starter, star, starter, I think it has like the limit or something. Which is fine for a starter kit, but it's just felt very out, it just felt outdated. outdated. Because even with the most basic starter kits. When, they, when I received it, I was like, mm, I, it felt very outdated. Yeah. I was like, why did they build this? So and just and it. just that form factor is a little bit outdated. But then, but there's then make people it out there that probably love those. Definitely, but at least make it universal so that I can use that tank on a different mod if something happens to the mod, yeah. or I can use the mod with a different tank if something happens. The idea is that I want to be able to use yeah. it. Yeah, you should be able to use it if you want to use it. If you want to look silly and have a big tube with a little. Um, tank on there. You should be able to. That's my prerogative. <laughs> let my me prerogative. let me use it on a regulated mod. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But yeah, the idea uh, that it wasn't compatible, wasn't universal, really bugged me. And they've I really didn't even know that. And they've really taken that under consideration this time. And this thing is fully compatible. You're gonna be able to use this with all your and other devices. And it doesn't take a long time to charge either. No, this is actually really quick charging. Um, it has to have some built-in safety features. One of the things I noticed right away. Is if you try to fire this, like if I put an RDA on here, and the RDA is is uh, way too low, this thing will actually just stop. It won't work. I actually thought I broke it at first. And so what you have to do is you have to actually go and plug it in, and it will like kind of reboot itself. Um, oh, it'll it, stop altogether? It just will not fire anymore. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, it's cool. Just kind of like a way it's to like show you. you. No. Yeah, no. 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 Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And like, you get scared that you broke your mod, so you don't do it again. <laughs> it's got beautiful clouds. Like Panda was saying, it has great flavor, good airflow. It is a very comfortable vape. Uh, I like it. Yeah. I like I, I like any, like, I haven't been, except that, I mean, I'm just not into, like, the little m mods, you know, the little mods that are, like, they're just old school. Seems like something I would have started out with in like 2000, like 12, 13 or 14 or something okay. like that. Um, 2012. I don't know. I don't okay. know when I started vaping. <laughs> um, but like it just seemed kind of like he said old school to me. It was just this small little starter thing. I'm more into like because you know when you, I'm an RDA user. I'm a Mech Mod user. And I do like, I've been using more regulated mods lately. So, like, I like something like this to where I feel like I'm still using a mechanical mod, but it's regulated. So, I like it. I like most stuff that they they send us. They're, like, especially their e-liquids are phenomenal. They know what they're doing when it comes goes to e-liquids. And this, I was very excited about. I saw he, get, he got his first. And... I was like, oh, where's mine? <laughs> I'm so excited <clears throat> because this is something you can take traveling with you, take to the store or wherever if you don't want it to drip and if the flavor is really good. And I'm, I'm vaping, um, I'm actually vaping Vaptasia's blueberry, um, blueberry custard. And that's a very, it's a kind of light um, e-liquid and it tastes very good in, in this tank. It tastes delicious. It brings out notes that you don't normally see in tanks. You taste a lot of blueberry. In this. Absolutely. <clears throat> you, usually a tank would mute out, because blueberry is a very light flavor. If it's done correctly, and mm. it tastes good. It's very light flavor. 
and you can actually taste a lot of blueberry in in this. Um, it definitely brings out the fruit notes. Yeah, it's it's got a it's a really interesting tank. It has really good flavor notes, really good saturation the of flavor. The five tenths different than what I'm used to seeing, unless I'm just not. So that's what a lot of tanks are like. That. Yeah. Yeah, it's just spring loaded, so it'll fit with, uh, all mods. Oh okay, I've never seen that. Before. I would. You definitely cannot use this tank on uh, on like a um, what do you call it? It's, mechanical mod that has a okay we have to cut this part out but what the hell is the name of the 510 where it doesn't have a 510 pen hybrid hybrid okay. so you definitely cannot use this tank on a hybrid mechanical mod because it does not have a protruding 510 so you will cause a uh, a short so yeah. be very careful don't use this on anything other than a regulated it's actually, mod it doesn't even stick even no it's like it's indented. Yeah. So, so besides the regulated mod or besides mechanical mods, this will work on everything. Um, but just, and it will even work on a mechanical mod that has a 510 pin. Yeah. Just nothing that's like hybrid. Like the broadside. Yeah. Just nothing hybrid. So be careful of that. Um, it is top fill. So you just twist this little top part. It comes off. I have always have problems taking apart tanks. It seems like they never want to come apart for me. I this was like one of the easiest tanks for me to because it's really all you do is just like push down, twist, boom. You don't have to unscrew anything. I mean, like to take it fully apart to clean it and stuff. Oh, it was very easy for me. Okay. Yeah, actually, no, it wasn't because I had a problem taking this this top part right. But you had to show me. I can't remember. It's been a while since I took it apart. Well, I took it apart um, because I think I I don't know why. I wanted to see if, when I first got it, I wanted to make sure the the coil was. Oh tight no, enough. you're you're right. Yeah, no, we had trouble um, removing the coil section. Yeah, the coil because it's different. It's a different type of. You pull it out. You pull the whole section out. We just didn't know what we were we doing. We were like, ta I was taking it all apart because that's usually what you would do is take the whole tank off. But this is you just. It's underneath, and you just pull it out. So we actually had to look at the manual, um, which is something we it normally makes it aren't used to doing. It easier to remove the Yeah, coil. no, it actually... You don't have to empty your tank out. At the end of the day, it is very easy to change the coils, which is great. Um, it's easy to fill from the top. It's awesome. Um, it actually doesn't leak because the airflow is at the top as well, which I love that design. And it has really big um, juice holes. Oh, yeah, no dry hits here, for None. sure. None, because the holes are very big and then the holes on the actual coil are nice and big too the the uh, actual juice flow is almost as big as the airflow yeah it's it's huge you uh, know in maybe we can have some up close pictures definitely I'll, I'll do some up close flow. up close sections uh, up close pictures of this um one thing that i will say is that this is a very airy draw so if you like something a little bit more constricted even when i close it all the way down I have it halfway shut all even when time. you close it all the way down it's still pretty. It's, I it's I still have pretty mine airy. halfway closed and to get and that gives me perfect flavor. If the halfway in, it's like perfectly halfway, and I get really really good flavor when I yeah, do that. Yeah, it's it's very airy. This is definitely made for clouds, mm -hmm. uh, hundred um, percent. It does have good flavor. Uh, especially if you do, you, you know, close it, it like halfway, you're gonna get Find your much sweet better. Spot. Flavor, you know? Let's find your sweet spot. I found mine was halfway in, but I'm also vaping light e liquid, so it might be it depends on what you're vaping. Your your mileage might vary. I will say this though, if you're looking for something that's just an easy yet durable and rugged and you can beat someone and, up with and this. good looking piece of gear. <laughs> But you just want something that's easy to pick up and, and, and toss some clouds. This is going to be a great device for you. I've been nothing but happy with this. Uh, much better. You know, if, I, if I'm being honest, it's much better than I anticipated it was going to be. Yeah. I I always get a little, like, mm, like sad when I know I'm getting a regulated mod sent to me. Like, you get super excited when you, you know you're getting a mechanical mod sent to you for review. But, like... It definitely blew my expectations out of the, through the roof because I was not expecting much from it at all. And it was, I was like, wow. It was like, it tastes delicious. The flavor is amazing. And it, feel, it doesn't feel cheap. 
It just, feels really like You can durable. literally yeah. use this as a weapon. <laughs> it feels rugged, yeah, it does. And it feels like a mechanical mod. Like what you would like what you would feel when you pick up like a mechanical mod, that heftiness, that niceness. Definitely. And I like that. I don't want you don't want something that feels like light and like some people like that, but I like to feel that I I'm getting what I'm paying for, even though I, it got sent to me for review. But I like to feel like, even with my phones, everything, I like my everything to be, like, heavy. Just It just feels just, less cheap. Just sign of quality. Yes, definitely. And I think it's because they got probably a really good battery in here. It feels, you know, the, because of the size, um, it, it, it seems like there might be something comparable to, like, a 2700 that's just wired in here. Again, I don't know that for sure, but it's it's probably something comparable to that. This is 25 millimeter. Both the mod and the tank are both 25 mil. So again, if you have something that's 25 mil, like a like another regulated device, you want to use the tank on. It is 25 millimeter. Um, it's uh, 3200 milliamp hour. Yep, 3200 mm. milliamp hour. I was wrong about the coils. They're not 0.22. I don't know why I said that's 0.2 ohm uh, mesh coils, which is uh, perfectly. Uh, reasonable for this device. It's putting off plenty of uh, voltage to power that coil. Is it this OCC fit it? Yeah. I don't know what that means. So OCC is a, is a coil standard that you can get other coils that will fit that as well. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this. I really, really enjoy this. I think it is a phenomenal device. And it's two milliliters e-liquid capacity. Because of uh, the UK's um, yeah, they're laws, they're based in the UK. Yeah, so this is a UK company, and because of the UK laws, uh, you cannot have a tank that's that's higher than two mil uh, capacity. Like, you're able to take this metal piece out, aren't you? No. Oh no, because it screws on into yep. it. But I haven't, I haven't found an issue. No, I, I, it lasts me for. I mean, even I'm vaping it steady, it'll last me for an hour before I have to add any liquid to it. Yeah. So, um, I mean. If you're from the UK, you're already used to this. If you're from the United States, um, it does not take long to adjust. Just grab a little uh, unicorn bottle with some e-liquid and just bring it with you. And it's so easy to remove the, the top. It's so easy to fill. It's not an inconvenience yeah. it's at not, all. It's not an issue, yeah. And the, um, watch it be hard for me. Because <laughs> I usually tighten everything. So like just already push up. down? There you go. Yeah, and the, um, what are they called? Juice ports? Your, we'll show you in that close section. Where um, you won't have an issue with with a juice bottle like the tip. Any thing. any juice bottle that you have. Just you're remember, you because sometimes I forget like the bubble, and then sometimes I overfill a little bit because I'm so used to bigger tanks. I'm not used to like putting um, e liquid in, in a two mil milliliter. So i have like, and also me I got bubble of juice well i'm sure you guys won't have that problem that's a, I don't that's pay a panda problem yeah because i don't pay attention when i'm filling you look it up <laughs> so and also it has two uh on the juice ports there's two of them of equal size that way it'll displace the air quite easily because sometimes when you have a tank like this if it has one juice port and you're and you're filling up juice um it'll Bubble. it'll and then it might force juice out from the airflow and stuff like that it's not a problem here you have plenty of uh airflow um, it's, I it's a found it's a great any cons uh, with this at all. I have not. <clears throat> I haven't found anything wrong with it. So, I do you have do, a con. You know, it's the button. You don't like the button. I don't like the button. Why? It feels cheap. That's it feels real it, plasticky. It's a little wanky. Yeah, it's just compared to the rest of the device. The rest of the device is so well made that when I get to the button and it just it just it moves around. Yeah, it's just it not does great. feel like it will break down on you. It, it definitely feels like this is the weak link, and that if there's any point, if there's any part that might not hold up over time, it's the button. And that's so really they, unfortunate. They should have definitely put, like, a flat button in there. Um, something that just was, it matched with the aesthetics yes. of this. Yes, metal. Yes. Just just the same color metal, and flat against flat. the surface. Instead of that. protruding. Yeah, the button is, like... Because it's going to catch, if you're putting this in your pocket, it's just going to catch on your pocket. It's just going to catch and eventually, on. eventually. It's going to come. Eventually. Hopefully not. 
I mean, I, I think if you're careful with it, you, you're just going to last yeah, but forever. But you're careful for a certain amount of times with mods, and then eventually yeah. you start putting them in your pocket, you start putting them in your purse, and, and things happen. It's the one issue I have with it. Other than that, I think the build quality and, mm -hmm. the, and the vape quality is fantastic. It's just this button, I think, is a is a pretty major uh, weak point. I think it's something they should definitely look into. If they're going to do changing. a second version of it, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I would like to know if they do. I would like to. Yeah, if it was just <laughs> if it was just like flush with the body, even if it was the same material but flush with the body and yeah. didn't stick out, that would make a huge difference as well. How it sticks out pretty far. It does, yeah. And that could cause some issues. And that's like the most important part. Is the yeah, button. if you don't have the button, you ain't got shit. <laughs> um, another thing about this, it's uh, you know, that's one of the features is you can turn it on and off, obviously, because it's regulated. So you just click it five times, and it will turn off. That way, you can stick it in your purse, or your pocket, and it's not gonna fire. Yeah. And then five times on. Especially and with the, how the button is, you definitely want to do that because it's not a flat button, so it can yeah. catch. And fire, or you... just re resting against something. I've actually um, done that. I I was doing something. And I rested it against the, the desk, and I was like holding it, and I was like typing or something. And I was like, okay, I was like, what's that noise? I was like, oh crap. See, I mean, <laughs> just watch. Like... But I didn't get it. Didn't like burn my coil though or anything. Okay, so it's not doing. It's that. not gonna do it because you wanted to. But it was. So it's, it's not, it's, it is stiff enough that it just oh. seems like, yeah, but you're like holding it down against it now. Yeah. So um, if you just sit it down, for the most part, I think you're going to be fine. It's not going to fire. But if it's in a purse, for instance, and there's just for something else against it, pushing up against something, mm -hmm. or you just maneuver the wrong way because it's protruding, you're it could fire. Especially a pocket at first, you're going to have pressure. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, I can definitely see it going off and... And if, especially if you don't have, th I was doing it for a while and I did not burn the coil. Um, thankfully, because there's a lot of, there's nice juice flow. But if you're like running low on juice and if you're doing it or if you're in a car for a while and you're not even noticing and all your juice goes, there you go. It's yeah. going to do either, um, you're going to mess up your coil or, I don't, can you start a fire? I don't think so. Or you're going to just like, Gonna roast your coil. Yeah, yeah, and coils aren't cheap. <laughs> but I will say this: uh, so, all things being equal, I think for what it is and for the price, it's got a, it's a really decent price. I don't have the price right on the top of my head, but I will put it in the video. Uh, I think it's a, a fantastic little device. Um, definitely blows their uh, previous device out of the water, and this is something that I, I think would recommend. They're two so. different things, though. Yeah, but I, I think that for two different type of people. Mm. I think the uh, other one would be for more old school type people that like to vape that with them little mods. It's, they're, it's but they're old school so people aren't going to be buying starter kits, and there was it was a starter kit, and so yeah. I think if you're looking for a starter kit from Steeped, this is the one to buy. Yeah, I would buy. I would buy this one over the other one at any time. And I'm sure the prices aren't much different. No, it was about the same price. Um, so, I mean, if I was to lose this, I, would I buy another one? Probably not, just because, uh, personally, this is not something that I need. But I definitely would recommend it to someone who's looking for a new, to start vaping. Yeah. This is a great device to start. Because it gives you those clouds, good flavor, and you can grow with it. Because you can take this tank off and put it on your new mod. You can take off this tank and put it on a different tank. If I was a, like just full regulated mod person and this was my first like two tank mod i would definitely if i if it broke or anything i would buy it again if that was if that was me, my choice of thing to use but because i don't i would rather buy an rda <laughs> that's just me because i that's what i use but if i was a sub -home tank person I was definitely buy this again. This is a damn good sub home tank. Don't get me. Don't get it. Don't if get it wrong. If someone tries stealing it, I will take it and beat them in the head with it because it will hurt them. It's a quality. It's a quality device, and I and I do recommend it for new vapors. Or if you're just looking for something that's built well, 
uh, of this aesthetic and a nice little tank to, to throw in your car and to carry around with you, I highly recommend it. For traveling and stuff like that, for like so you don't break anything, you, you don't have to carry extra stuff, yeah. definitely would bring this with me because it's nice. I, and has, I love the flavor. I'm shocked of how good I like the flavor. Because I'm not a tank person. At all. I like, I'll like i stick with a tank for a little while. But then I kind of window off. And I always, I come back when I'm at my desk. I'm usually vaping on this. Because it has a good flavor. It's above average in flavor for sure. Um, overall, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I think it is a damn good device. Um, if you're in the market for this, then it is definitely worth picking up. Um, it's not going to be for everybody because some people I think are going to be beyond the scope of what this is trying to do. Um, but if you're uh, but new, there's a, so then many grab people it. out there that are, are new. There's yeah, always new, someone new. So like, I mean, if I was still friends with my friend Mary, I would definitely recommend this to her because she was like, she wanted a tube mod so bad, but I just knew she was too ditzy. <laughs> she did not want to learn about like hybrid mods she just wanted to use it so i was like no you can have this <laughs> perfect for her yeah, yeah. perfect for somebody that wants it the to look but they don't want to learn about absolutely. the safety absolutely <laughs> so panda approved Panda approved excellent stamp it stamp anyways thank you so much to steve for sending this out really appreciate oh, it Thank you very much to Steve for sending us out. We really appreciate it. And thank it. you for always supporting the channel and showing your love to us. We appreciate you guys very so much. much. Yeah. Steve is a great company. Very. Really I've seen nothing but loyalty from them. They're awesome. Yep. Check them out. Go get, check out a bottle of Quick Shake. If you want to check out a review of Quick Shake, we both have reviews on our channel. Yes. And I also check have them out. And Shake Your Battery. Yep, we have definitely. reviews on that too. Quality, quality liquids, man. Yes. And very unique. Yeah. Both our channels are different personalities, so you just check us both out. Do it. I you dare you. Dare you. You don't have the balls to watch both of our videos. <laughs> or the ovaries. And if you do, say, I have the ovaries. Or the balls. Boom. Boom. And, uh, engagement and engagement challenge. <laughs> Okay, until next time. And hit that like button. I bet you won't. I, I dare you. Dare you. Double dog dare you. Hit it with your nose. Ooh, engagement challenge. <laughs> um, until next time, keep your clothes tight. We'll see you then. Peace out. Bye. That was a good one. Is hanging out. She's doing it on purpose. Mm -hmm. My titties are hanging out, fellas. Mm -hmm.